In this video, you will learn how to make the sunburst chart using Microsoft Excel. This chart is used when we compare values across hierarchical level. For example, I want to compare the rainfall in different months for three consecutive years. And I also want to compare the rainfall in individual week of this month. That's why I have draw this sunburst chart. So in conclusion, we use sunburst chart when the data is organized hierarchically and has many categories. Let's learn how to create this chart in Microsoft Excel. You can see here I have uh, entered the hierarchical data which is include years, then month and weeks. And the rainfall uh, during these categories is recorded in this section. So here I will enter January and 3. Suppose I will enter data 120. So first select this data. Go to insert option and here you will select sunburst chart. Use these handles to resize. You can see here that this sunburst chart is not according to our requirement because first level uh, years are mentioned here, then months, but weeks are missing in this table. So uh, before I added this chart first I added this title comparison of rainfall select this one and change its font size go to home black color bold and 20 after that select this chart area and go to format and sorry, design option not format in design option you can change the color and quick layouts are also available you can also select this First, I will uh, put an extra circle here of which indicates the weeks. You can see here that these two are selected as response values. So I edit this, click on this, right click, go to select data. Here you can see that in legend entry series, two series are mentioned first is rainfall and second is week i don't want uh, this series in this entry so i will remove this and in horizontal categories i will edit and select three categories click on ok then again ok but here you can see that uh, it has mentioned week month year we have wrongly selected this one so we will remove this go to select data and again edit and from here we will select this data Click on OK. Then again OK. You can see here uh, the chart is formed according to our requirement. The first cycle 
which is here indicate the years which is 2010 12 11 and 12 secondly uh, month of each year's mention is further categorized year, year is categorized into month which is january february similarly here january february and here january february and in uh, last circle it is the rainfall during different weeks four weeks you can see here it is uh, divided into uh, one two three because uh, I intentionally missed this value so uh, it is uh, divided into 3 1 so it is quite flexible and in February all four uh, week values are mentioned so it is divided into 1 2 3 4 similarly you can see for other one if you want to display the rainfall value in this chart it is possible for uh, this chart so select this one go to plus sign and in data label option select this more data label option go to more data label option. you will find different option here uh, i have misplaced that one Here you can see, uh, check any of these categories and these will be displayed here. If I check on values, then you can see here the values are mentioned and I will uh, separator use semicolon. So first is the week, week number and second is the value of rainfall is mentioned here. You can also select them and change their color as well as their font size you can bold them additionally you can also change their color and their border shape if you want border shape select here and for example i will select black you can see here black Similarly, you can format its color according to your requirement and if you want legends then go to this sign and check legend. You can see here legends are appeared here. If you click on these legends, right click format legends, then you can change its position. I will select right one. The legends are appeared here. You can also uh, change the their size. I'm using this option I will use 12 so it is uh, in conclusion I will say that the sunburst chart is a useful tool when the data is organized hierarchically as this one and this has data has many categories so if you like this uh, video please subscribe our channel and click on like thumbnail thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye